traders, hello everyone, welcome to our new update, which I will look um, at gold, 10 year US notes versus S&P 500 and Euro pound. Now, if you're following um, us on Twitter, then you know that we shared some um, of the bullish interpretations on gold last week. And so far, we have seen very nice move to a new, uh, to a new highs. And uh, what is really important or what I want to highlight in this video is that based on different interpretations, I was expecting more upside on gold since market firstly bounced very nicely from 1670 uh, um, area and even broke this uh, trend line resistance with an impulsive personality. So based on different interpretations, all of them suggested actually that sooner or later gold will be revisiting the highs. And I was looking for this scenario um, actually since June 09. Uh, so I think that now when we are at new highs, it's worth to look uh, at the updated price chart and definitely consider that uh, everything can change when market moves close to the previous highs. So um, the first and primary wave count is still this ending diagonal. So despite this very aggressive bearish wave count, uh, I was still bullish because this ending diagonal was incomplete. And in ending diagonal, you know, you need to have five sub waves, right? And uh, each of the legs should be made by three waves. So back then I was looking this uh, either to be wave A or wave one of different interpretation. interpretation. I was looking for a wave B and now it looks like that we can be in wave C of wave five. So if this ending diagonal is really going to be the case, um, then resistance is not far away. But I also realized that this wave count is also very valid, where I have a whole triangle here placed in wave 4 and we could be rallying higher into wave 5, meaning that there is more upside potential possibly compared to this, uh, to this ending diagonal. Um, so what is really important for me that I always try to be uh, very patient and open-minded because I know that each of the wave counts can be correct and that I can always be wrong. But what is very important for me is that if suddenly market will really drop sharply from 1718 or, or maybe from 1800 levels in impulsive fashion, then I will know what will follow next. And this is very important for me to be prepared rather than surprised. Okay, so for now gold is still bullish. Um, actually, I favored longs since uh, June 09, and you never know how long uh, and how far market will actually go. So it's very important just to, um, if you are in the trade, whenever you are in the trade on the long or short side, and if this trade goes in your favor, just try to ride this uh, this market by uh, by trailing stops. Okay, and you will be out of your potential longs or shorts when the market turns and when market actually tells you that you should be out when those stops are obviously clear okay because you never know how far these gold bulls will extend so that's where actually money is made if you can write the winners um, okay now let's take a look also i said on the 10 year us notes versus the s p 500 i think this is still very important uh, very important chart um, looking at this 10 year US notes. Why? Because we are in consolidation period and always when there is a consolidation, of course, a lot of traders, investors will look or will lose their um, uh, interest in this market. But that's when we really should be aware that actually breakout may occur, especially if you are familiar with the Elliott wave theory, because you know when this breakout can be approaching based on the subways. I see A, B, C, D, E lags in this triangle. Okay, uh, so ideally we are in wave E. So we should be very careful and be watching if maybe if bulls are going to wake up. If we'll see this broken trend line resistance, then I really think that this fifth wave will be in play. In such case, I think that stocks may face limited upside. But of course, watch this trend line still in the short term basis. I think that there can be retest of these highs, uh, which was this, this was highs from June 09 before market may again turn to the uh, to the downside for a deeper correction. Um, but generally speaking, I see stocks moving into this, as I said, potential resistance. Don't be surprised by pullback. Definitely, I'm not looking for any kind of shorts on stocks. 
Uh, I just think that there will be much better opportunities after pullbacks at lower prices, if this pullback occurs, of course. It's better just to avoid the trade rather than uh, trying to uh, gamble here. So, um, looking also on the wave count of the S&P 500, um, what I'm looking at here is actually five waves up here for a wave one, maybe wave A, who knows, but I think that more upside can be seen after wave B or wave two pullback. Ideally, we will see here a flat formation. So we'll see how this actually plays out uh, here on, uh, on the four hour chart. Uh, where are you? Here we are. On the four hour chart, I'm now currently tracking wave B, which obviously, as I said, could move close to the previous highs if we consider that this could also be a flat formation. Now, very important is probably the level or the resistance level here from February. It's still unfilled gap. Actually, Nasdaq 100 actually filled this gap, but this market still didn't. So maybe this one will be very important for for very important drop into wave C. But as I said earlier, much better opportunities on this market would occur if we see a pullback from lower prices. Now let's take a look on Euro Pound. I think that Euro Pound has a very interesting, at least. Uh, the short term structure, so I want to highlight this one. Uh, what we have seen is a very sharp drop here from March highs. It looks like an impulse, okay? So if this was an impulse, then we know in which direction market should go because impulse actually shows us where the current trend is. It was a five waves of decline. And currently what we are seeing is a pre-wave recovery. Now pre-wave recovery will in wave B will ideally be made by three waves back to 61.8% retracement. So looking at the four hour chart, I see prices made a very nice rise in five waves for wave A. You have seen a wave B and now it looks like that we could be in a wave C. Now this wave C I think is still ongoing, not accomplished yet. So there is room for 61.8% as I said. But once we approach those levels, just be aware of potential impulsive sell-off. On a smaller degree time frame, the five-wave drop would definitely be a very interesting structure for potential shorts here. So I'm watching this one very closely and I think it's worth uh, to, to look at it because the whole wave structure, actually looking here at uh, the big picture, suggests that we have seen a reversal from the upper side of the range. So if that's the case, then maybe we are now headed to the lower side of the range. And considering the wave structure that we have, I really would not be surprised if that's going to be the case. But as I said, wave C still appears to be incomplete because looking at this hourly chart, if this was a starting point of wave C here at the June online levels, then this was wave one, this was wave two, you are now in a wave three, you will see a wave four, and then another bounce towards this 161.8% extension, which actually comes in very close to this 61.8% extension. Uh, sorry, retracement of this wave A. So everything comes in around this area, 9170, uh, maybe 92 level, but I think that it's worth to keep an eye what will happen there. As I said earlier, if we'll see a drop from there, then I think that there can be opportunities on the short side. And until then, of course, Euro pound remains bullish. It remains supported by these uh, intraday swing lows. So as long as the market is actually trading above 8940, I think that there is a chance that it wave C will really move to higher prices. Traders, thank you very much for your attention. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did not, uh, check out our uh, Elliott Wave Open Door event. We have the 10 days free access to all analyzes. So make sure to register. Or if you are already in our database and you didn't take advantage of this offer yet, then send us an email and we will give you, give you access to our charts. Okay, traders, thank you very much for your attention and have a good day. Bye.